So we're in the lower level. Um, we always call it a walkout basement because we actually have daylight on this side, which is gorgeous. And the rain has stopped, which is fantastic. There is another full suite on this side. We have a beverage center down here, which goes to the efficiency of the people living in the house, that they don't have to go up and down. We have another wing off to the other side that has two very gracious sized bedrooms and then a shared full bath. We also have another fireplace down here. But what I want to understand is these floors look extremely similar to the floors upstairs, but I bet you that they're not. Nope. And then can you talk to us about the structure down here? How do you, how do you keep something that is obviously dug into some earth? How do we keep that dry? What did you use? What did you do? Um, and extraordinary ceiling heights as well. Yeah, so as you said, it's a daylight basement, but most people get that thought of basements where we're hillside building mountainsides. Or I like to call them lower levels, but lower levels, because they are, they don't feel basement either. No, beautiful it should feel like basement. Yeah. So we do 10 foot ceilings in this house yeah. to make it feel big and spacious, mm -hmm. a lot of windows. Um, so when you mentioned the floor, so we've insulated our slab before we poured the whole entire nice. slab. So we've insulated all six sides. This is an engineered um, white oak, and we did engineered because of just the moisture level. So we get four seasons, we're gonna use an engineered floor on concrete, or maybe even a cork or LVT, but in this case, this is engineered. Um, but we use precast walls. Yes. And so they're made in a factory, it's all precision, it already comes insulated. So when we set these walls, even if we didn't insulate the basement or didn't finish the basement, it already has a, a really dry, um, conditioned feel. So we are already in R21 before even adding any more insulation in our wall. See, this is where I geek out. I love that. Yeah. And then there's also a PSI pressure to it as well. Yeah, about a thousand. So yes. it's hard to get so, that. On see, am I good? I'm a good girl. Yeah. Yes. Um, and so all that components is just happening. Yes. So it's a really nice feel in here. So it also makes it easy to finish because it's studded. So it's actually a cost effective way for our homeowners. So with that said, we are doing the 10 foot ceilings, insulating the floor, got all the walls, so it doesn't feel like a basement, so we can really make it feel like a lower level. Right. But I think even the, the windows is really what makes this kind of dumb. I agree. And when, with this design, part of that integrated screen deck being part of the house, this gives way more sunlight into it because there's not a deck on the backside extending out and blocking right. windows. Um, so I, I find it to be a space that most people are like, oh wow, this, this wasn't what I thought it was going to be. And so it's really designed, it could be a couple of things. It could be a potentially an Airbnb down here with a separate entrance right behind you. It could be kids, yeah. um, so we've got it separated out. Or it could be in the lifestyle of just someone who, you know, has somebody that might be guests coming to Asheville hang out or maybe family, but you really have that separation of feeling like, I don't have to be involved. Yes. You don't have um, to, yes. Yeah. Also, it's zoned. Mm -hmm. So this zone, the lower level that we're in, or basement, mm -hmm. is completely zoned. So therefore you can temperate this if it's not in use, yeah. if it's here for the holidays or if it's not. And then you have the upstairs, which is the main level, which is completely zoned as well. The cool thing is with these basements is they're already, on this back side is where the earth is. Yes. So it's, it's easy to keep this at a good temperature and it's not gonna be super hot in the summer, but even in the winter, it doesn't take much of a load to actually heat and cool this space. So that's a cool thing why we zone a lot of systems. This is 4,400 square feet on one heat pump, and we really can zone it because we don't have a heat load much on this basement. Right, now I'm gonna put you on the spot and I'm gonna ask you a question, and I've asked you this question before when we've had people engage you as a builder. If from a cost perspective, you chose not to finish out the lower level or the basement area, is that, is that a good value for someone building with you moving forward? You can still stub up for all your um, bathrooms, but that's also a factor now because you've talked about using the wall structures. Yeah, I mean, it's already, it's ready to be finished up. So it's a low cost, low hanging fruit, right? right. Um, but if you never need it, I, I've had houses that I personally lived in with a secure wall yeah. that I didn't finish. But you know, I, going down there didn't feel, and we don't have the moisture issues. Right. So these walls being 5,000 psi, we still do waterproofing, and we're all about putting gutters and running water away from here. But it doesn't have that mildewy feel, and it doesn't have the moist. 
kind of feel. Maybe yeah. moisture is a word on it. And we try to educate buyers about protecting the foundation. And I think that's, um, again, a way that you can pro protect your investment moving forward. If you were to finish a lower level or if you were not to finish a lower level, having those kinds of technologies, the superior walls or any of those yeah, type of features that. really helps the house move forward. You're doing it once, mm -hmm. which is only um, do or you should only exactly do you should only do it once. So therefore, that's also going to cut down on the costs of labor, mm -hmm. redoing, redigging, or anything like that. So doing it once yeah. and doing it the right way doing is right. probably the best. Yeah, way. I, seems to be. That's so my we, thoughts. <laughs> so we've also dressed out this space it's in gorgeous. a little bit of features and you know the bathrooms, yeah. just trying to have a personal touch where a couple of things about the bathrooms that you may not even notice is that we didn't vent the plumbing. We got to, all plumbing's got to be vented through the roof, right? So we did a little studer pipe. So that way we don't have penetrations through the roof. So I am a big fan, less penetrations through the roof, the better. So all this basement is self-contained behind the mirrors. And so we're doing that. And so when that helps in the energy performance. It also helps a little bit with water maintenance, all the things that could go wrong. Right. Um, when we punch holes through our roofs and our walls. Yes. Um, I don't know if there's anything else. I think that's that's probably it for. The, I think space. this. I, I love the. I love the floor. I love that the basement does not feel like mm -hmm. a basement. I think that's the biggest win. So I will always call it a lower level. A lower level. Lower level. level. I love that. And what a beautiful place to put your friends and family. Or Walk entertain. right out to the fire pit. That's the right. Place. The fire pit is here. We're, we're getting some sunshine. We might be able to go out there. Yeah. Yeah.